Hello, welcome to the new video from City and Cats Brass. Today, going to be fitting the continuous sync system to the HP NV7640 using their HP62 ink cartridges. Uh, so, supplied within your uh, box of bits, uh, this system, we'll have supplied you with some uh, stands, some printer stands, which you'll need to assemble. Uh, so, you'll need to put the uh, four screws in. There's a, a screw hole in. Uh, in the corner you'll need to put these in on all four just to assemble it and then with the velcro that we've supplied just put some velcro pads on it the reason for this is the printer needs to be raised to support the installation of the system and they will stay in all the time now you don't have to use the stands we've supplied if you've got an alternative uh, you can use books or a couple of ream of paper but it will need to be about 60 mil tall so I'm just going to pop these under the printer and I'm going to pop one under each corner. And that's it, we've raised the printer so we can now install the SIS system. Let's just uh, spin it around a bit. So you'll have already filled and primed uh, your continuous ink system uh, in the, and you'll have seen our previous video. So before you install it you need to make sure that the roller on the side is in the downwards position, locked tight down. This will prevent the ink from from back flowing out of the print, uh, out of the cartridges and getting air into the system. So let me just uh, need to make sure that all of your plugs are in on the top as well. This one's just just popped out when I picked it up. Right, so the roller on the side is down. You need to remove the black cartridge clamps. You need to keep them. That's very important. If you've ever got to reprime the system and move uh, and remove the air, you'll need to pop these back on. Uh, so please keep the black cartridge clamps. Now, it's a good idea to get a piece of, piece of tissue or something similar. Normally, when you take these off, you can get some excess residue ink coming out, and we recommend that you just give them. Uh, you just give it a wipe with uh, with a piece of tissue just to wipe the excess ink if you've got that. It's normally caused during the priming stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the lid and I'm going to install the SIS system. So I'm just going to turn them over, pop them in. Let's just move the camera over a bit. Pop them in as you would a normal set of cartridges. And just click them into place. Now part way down the ink line you'll see this uh, this clamp. You need to remove the green backing tape from it and it actually gets affixed. So what the fixation position, what you're looking for is that the ink line is not touching the side of the case in here and you've probably got about a fingers. Uh, I would just put your finger in there. Uh, in fact let's do it with this hand. Finger in there and then you clip. You can see my hand over here uh, and just pull it over into the middle and what you're looking for is that it's a little bit taut, not too tight, not too much of a sharp bend here and you're just going to fix it in the middle. So further down the incline as well over here you have another clamp so let's just, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the green backing tape from this one over here. You can use nails if you've got them, uh, I don't have any nails. Uh, right okay and we're going to just affix this to this side so let's just pop this round I'm just going to fix it to the side there so for this system you need to put the roller in the upwards position and remove the four small flat plugs and you will need to keep the flat plugs as well the four small ones uh, keep them along with the black cartridge clamps because if you've ever got to reprime it you will have to put them back in so SIS systems installed, uh, one last thing, a couple of things really. Within your accessory pack you're going to have a plug which looks like this. You need to fit this in the lid sensor. There's a little key shaped or an L shaped hole here. You're just going to pop that in and the display over there just clicked over to say that it was actually the door, the lid was closed. Little air filters, look like child's spinning top, should be installed with the narrow pointed end facing upwards. While we're doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the printer off. Uh, in fact, no, let's finish this first. Uh, pop the four 
air filters in and go back. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just going to run uh, some head cleans. I'll talk about head cleans in a minute. Print the main is just get. Let's just get it. Uh, up and running. So I've installed the SIS system now sometimes because of the priming and the handling first time use of the cartridges uh, you have to do a head clean. Sometimes you can get away with one head clean uh, sometimes two or even three may be necessary it, it, it does vary we've found uh, so don't be surprised if you have to do three head cleans to start uh, to start with. So it's running its first one it's just going to take uh, maybe about 30 to 45 seconds to run on this model uh, and then we'll see if we've got to do any more. So as you can see the install on this it's going to take you maybe 10 or 15 minutes to fill and prime it and then just like maybe 5 or 10 minutes to install the system. It's really easy, really simple. It comes with 400ml of ink. Uh, that's around it's around it's, it's more than a hundred hundred cartridges when you compare it to the standard HP cartridges uh, so you, you, you do have quite a lot of ink with this system so it's printing the first uh, the first nozzle check result and then we'll just have a look do we need to do another one so it purely does depend on what on what the results are yeah, so we've got a bit on the magenta there, so we're going to have to uh, run another one. Hopefully one more will be enough, but sometimes you do need to do another one. Yeah, so as I said, the initially you're buying the SIS system and the ink. Uh, it comes with 400ml of ink. After that, you will just buy the refill bottles. You can buy either uh, a single bottle or a full set of four. It is cheaper postage-wise to buy the four, and you can mix and match your colours. Uh, but it's going to be so much cheaper to run uh, once you've got the system installed. So the only thing I can think I've missed uh, on their genuine cartridges when you come to install them, they will have some orange tape covering the chip. You will need to remove the orange tape, just like a set of genuines, because that's what they are, uh, and then install the cartridges into the printer. So we do we do use a brand new set of HP HP 62 genuine cartridges to create the SIS system. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's just run some prints off. So I'm going to close the lid. And what the lid is just slightly ajar, it actually rests on this clip here that we've put in the position in the middle. And I'm just going to close the lid. Done. And run a few copies. Uh, let's just run a couple of. And that's it, that's how you install the continuous sync system on the HP NV 7640 using the HP 62 cartridges from City Ink Express. Thank you.